So with the Kings just off a fresh win against the Knicks to start their road trip, they look to go two in a row against the Wizards, but it's not going to be easy. Earlier this season, the Wizards lost their star point guard, John Wall, to an injury. Because of that, the entire NBA thought the Wizards would be one of the worst teams in the NBA. But that didn't happen. Their starting shooting guard decided that he wasn't that it wasn't the end of their season. And Bradley Beal has been putting up 30 points ever since Wall went out. So John Wall was really holding him back. The Kings are coming off a strong victory, as I already said. Um, De'Aaron Fox led this team past the Knicks with 30 points and 8 assists. So he is looking to have two games in a row, two good games in a row. The Kings' best shooter, Buddy Heald, started really cold in New York, so hopefully he can start off on a good note against the Wizards. And if he can, the Wizards will have a tough time beating our Kings. The Wizards have two really good players in Beal and Trevor Ariza, so it will be interesting if Fox, Heald, and Barnes can push their way through the Wizard, this Wizards team. Okay, so let's go into the player matchups. For point guard, we it's not super exciting because, you know, Wall went out. Um, so Fox shouldn't have too much trouble facing off against the Wizards' backup point guard. Saturonski, I don't know, has been averaging 9 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists, and a steal. He's pretty good 3-point shooter, so Kings might get hurt by this, as we always do. Fox is putting up 17 points, 4 rebounds, 7 assists, a steal, and even a block now. Yeah. Shooting guard, this is the matchup of the game. Both of these players are leading their team in scoring. They're both solid defenders. Buddy Heald is getting 21 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. And of course, his 3-point shooting is what separates him from the rest of the NBA. Beal is averaging 26 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 1.5 steals, and a block. But recently, is almost averaging a triple-double, so Buddy might have a little trouble against him. Uh, small forward. The new starting small forward for the Kings, Bogdan Bogdanovich, is going to have a difficult time against the veteran Trevor Ariza. Trevor was at, traded to the Wizards halfway through this season, and has been giving them 15 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1.5 steals. Now, Bogdan has similar stats than Ariza, with 15 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and a steal. But since starting, Bogdan has yet to prove himself. Uh, power forward. I don't know much about the Wizards' power forward, so I'll just give you the stats. Green has been averaging 13 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, and half a steal and a block. And Barnes, since coming to the Kings, has been contributing 14 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. Um, so this is probably going to be a good matchup. Maybe. They're pretty similar. Now, Barnes took a while for him to have a really good, a pretty good game, but now he's... It looks like he's gotten into his groove, so he's starting to get some double-doubles in his book. Now, unfortunately, again, don't know much about the Wizards' new center. This is a sign, guys. If I don't know much about the center or the power forward, this might not be a good team. Um, but their center, I might not know much about him, but he's a little better than Willie. So, the Wizards just got their starter, Portis, in the trade deadline, and has been giving them 16 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist, and a steal. Why can't Willie give us that? And Willie Collestein has been struggling this season with 12 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and a block. Stats-wise, this game shouldn't be very close, but with the Kings, any game can be close. So don't count the Wizards out of this one. But the Kings hopefully can grab another strong win before heading into Boston on Thursday. Wow, this is a short video.
Yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Mm, yeah, I guess so. That's pretty much it. Um, if you want to read the blog, go ahead to Sac City, home of the kings .com. I know the link hasn't really worked in the description below, but I'm probably going to have it work this time. Watch out for that.